on a ship or anything, like a flash to the roof, or I am singing fools. You came as conscious money, now you start to worry. Thanks to most of you, trying to turn against the night, right? Tell me I'm not really on a beat, if they vote you come back in, back in trip beyond the top, and it goes steady long. But I'm not like to be a man, turn around and then I run. But I'm just doing what I say, you ain't got the time to eat. You came as conscious money, now you start to worry. My future school leavers in present on uh, days of rising, present days of rising unemployment, redundancies, closures of works and factories. Start I. My name's Jacko and I'm, I'm unemployed. Today, me and some other boys for Whitburn that's unemployed too, are going to tell you, the employed and future school leavers, where it's like to be on the dole and maybe that you, you will have some consideration for us and uh, knowledge of what it's going to be like on the dole and maybe knowledge will know what it's going to be like. Uh, my name's Sandy. I come down here every fortnight to sign on the brew. Uh, I get 40, 41 50 every fortnight. Uh, I walk it down here about half past eight in the morning because I wouldn't give the, the bus man his bus fares. It's too dear these days. And we can't afford it off our brew money. I tell you, I give my ma a digs in that. Uh, I can't afford nothing. I can't even afford to go out to drink. You're on the door? Aye. When do you go down to the door? Every second Tuesday. 10, 10 20 I sign on. I'm back for 12. Go and we'll get my tea and come back down the street again. Where is it? Bathgate. Popburn Road, I think. Aye, it's Popburn Road. They're all cheeky down there, but the wife is cheeky. I ripped my doll card up one day and she says, the day again, she stopped my doll money, saw so fruit in her face. She never stopped my doll money, because they're not allowed to do that anyway. Have you had any jobs? Four. One with, two with the council, one with Bath Gabbard one. I was in the army for a year. And I got chopped out the army, because I was naked. So they said. Are you looking for a job? No. They're not. It's naked looking, because you don't get any, because they're not, not running about here anyway. Well, just say that a new factory opened up. I mean, would you apply for a job or are you quite happy being in the door? Happy being a man. Even though you didn't get much money? Aye. <laughs> don't want a job, man. It's not good getting jobs anyway, because you just get sacked or just pack it in because they're rubbish. So I didn't know the rest. My mod doesn't bother. So why should I bother? But, but what if you meet some nice girl and you want to get married and settle down? Show me you got a job. <laughs> you still want for a job yet? I'm looking for a job yet, but no, look for one for about two or three weeks. I went into the careers office in Bathgate, but there he was giving the same rubbish every week. With no got nothing. The careers officers no help you in any no, they just, no. They just took, every time you go in they just say, Well, we've none this week, come back in next week. It's just the same every week. And you'll get, you'll get folk, okay, and you'll get nothing but somebody else will be in there and they'll go offer some, they'll get a job, but you'll know. The boy across the road for me, I went in the same day as him three days ago, and they offered him a job in the centre near middle, and they never offered me nothing. And I'd been grinning for months. Do you go dressed like a punk or whatnot when you went to sign on or go up for a look for the uh, job centre or anything? I went. Just, just dress the way I want to dress. Do you not think that'll bit them off getting you a decent job? I'm not really bothered. It's just the way I dress. Police pick you up. Again, if you're a punk or that, you're a skinhead. You just look suspicious. They'll, they'll stop you. Ask you to get in the motor. You, you, you're, not, you're not done on around. Just tell you to get in. What do you, can you tell me what you think is going to happen when um, the unemployment level continues to rise? 
people start going amok, running riot and everything for mere money. Start bringing in things and doing people in and all that. But that's what's happening now. They're just, people are just starting to do things in, rob shops and everything. That's what I did. I wasn't getting enough. People are just going violent, man. They're all going sick. Jimmy, I was just going to look for you then. Put that money. Can you get it this week? My wind's no wheel. Are you like your wind? Are you Jakey? Aye. Are you going to ring away with the key, mate? I can do you half it next week. Fuck all, Bob. Jakey, you need 10 bob in the pound next week. You get back to your health, you know what it's all. Ten bob on the pound next week, Jakey, eh? I can try, Jimmy. Try not. Ten bob on the pound next week. Through the score, Jakey. Because they're not just going to be like us, man. Layabouts who need jobs or not. Nobody respects you if you're on the door. Just think we're lazy. No good. Hi, this is Jacko again. We're off to, we're leaving the centre now and we're off to uh, Craig Muller Park and we're going to interview some people for Edinburgh and see where it's like being on the door there if it's the same situation. My name is Muriel Wilkinson, I'm Deputy Organising Secretary and tre Treasurer of Craig Muller Festival Society. My main responsibility is in fact for the children and youth workshops and education workshop. Um, because you're specifically interested in the arts, um, I'm only sort of remotely um, involved in the arts side. But um, on the Gulliver sculpture, the idea was first mooted roughly about four to five years ago. Mrs Crummy, our secretary, had visited Glenrothes and seen all the sculptures there and brought the idea back of our community, in fact, doing some sculptures. Um, as often happens, there were many people around at that point. We had Neil Cameron from the Theatre Workshop who just joined us, Miss Beth Shader, there was her own arts workshop. And the idea of having community sculptures, um, everyone really got enthusiastic about it. Um, at the same time, Jimmy Boyle's book was out, and a group from here actually visited him in Bar Linney, a special unit. Um, Jimmy also became excited about the idea of a sculpture and um, put forward the idea of, like, say, Gulliver, and that he would be interested in, in designing it. Um, if, in fact, he did design it, although the ultimate um, finished article is slightly different. Anyway, we put forward a job creation project for Gulliver, and the team 
uh, that joined us at first. It was just a job. But as Gulliver started to take shape, it became more than just a job. The kids themselves quickly cottoned on to what was being built and really adopted the men and Gulliver. Um, they also helped to design it to the extent of um, saying, why not put in his ears? Because his hair, in fact, covered um, his ears. Um, to this day, Gulliver is well used by all the kids up in the Nidra House, Nidra Marshall area. Here we are at Craig Muller at the Mermaid. And this is for wee wains and all that to play on. And as you can see, a lot of wains here. Just big wains actually. But anyway, they're enjoying ourselves and that's the main thing. This is another one of the sculptures that was done by the... Who was it done by again? <laughs> Craig Muller Festival Society. And it's quite nice. <laughs> See a lot of vandals have been at it, but it's made for what's it made for? <coughs> We're going to talk to two wee girls that come from the district and they play here. Play <laughs> what is it? No, you play it. No. What else do you play at? Go to the seat. Slide. When you come here all the time. Aye. Every day. Aye. Do you like it? Uh -huh. What are you at school today for? Yeah, it's dinner time. Is it dinner time? Go home. So do you come here before you go home? No. This is a face of the mermaid. And other features. That's the, that's the, our crown at the top and the hair. And as you see there, a wee pond down the bottom. It's a bit laid out the new way. Sticks and bricks and things, but... It's quite a good sculpture, I would say. It must have took a long while to make. Must have been very good making it. Mosaic. Very interesting. And if you come round here, can you come down? Can you see that bit there? Up there are steps that go all the way around there. <laughs> round the, behind the mermaid's head, there's various stairs and things, but the shoots, slides, but you can slide up and down and that. And up the top of the crown is a wee, wee kind of seat hang up there where you see big zombie up at enjoying himself as usual. Have you have you sniffed the glue up there yet, sir? No, I've just been on the old bit bump fast up here and all that, you know, and I'm a wee bit <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, Gulliver. This is Gulliver, which Jimmy Boyle helped to uh, design. And uh, it's been the desi original design has been changed from Jimmy Boyle's design, but not very much. What's it made of? It's made of concrete, and there's places where people can run in and, out and seats in the ears and things like that. This is Gulliver's head. 
you see, that's, that's his chin at this bit here. That's his nose, there's his mouth that wee bit there. His eyes, his head, his hair, his hair down the bottom here. His ears, you see his ears. That, that's really all I can see the new. A moustache, I think, there. A moustache or something. In the afternoon, we went to Wester Hills, uh, to a big community centre. We went into, when we, when we got out of the minibus, we were walking along, and there was this man, then there was new who he was, and then when we got up closer, we seen it was Jimmy Boyle, and he said, I've seen the look in your faces, we nearly dropped, every one of us. And to me, to me, before I met him, I never really liked him because of the things he'd done to other people, stabbed him and that. But when I got to talk to him and that, he's just another human being like anybody else. Okay, he'd killed somebody and that, but what, what he's doing for the community you now, nobody else will maybe no equal that, what, what he's doing, he's helping folk, he believes in helping us, he's, tell, he's telling us about setting up huts and that, get down to your, your councillor, if you've not, if you've if nowhere else in what one to go or nothing, get down, get a hut and do what you want in it, just, even though it's getting one another up it, you're still up and down the places, you've still, you've still got some, something to do yourself. No, I, I think it's good the way he's, look, any <coughs> other place, they were, when he says, uh, can the punks come down here, they kind of didn't want to know about it, but he was trying to kind of do, do something for the folk that nobody else wanted to do in for, and I think it's good the way he done that, and he's trying to organise that thing in April, about uh, all the wee bands and that, try to get them all together for a lot of show hang and uh, the way he's building these huts for folk can he's getting folk unemployed a job to pick these huts up and then once they are up it's f when they've nothing else to do they can go there at night and that and through the day uh, I like to see getting like oh he's getting involved in one thing building something so I, don't, I don't care what it is as long as it's something that is just like a job, to sort of do something that we can't get involved in trouble, can't fight with one another, we can't have arguments. Well, suppose we could do arguments, but <laughs> no whack one another with bottles and all that. That's the kind of thing, I get too depressed. You, you don't even want to listen to reason, you just want to battle. But if you've got something like that to do, to put in paint something, or Make some, make tables, make, make a hut, build a sculpture or build something, anything like that. Just, just get something like that into this, into this tune and give you a break. <laughs>